Hello friends, we are studying effect of gyroscopic couple on naval ships using method 1. Before watching this lecture, I would recommend you to watch the previous lecture on effect of gyroscopic couple on ships using method 1 during steering. Okay. Now, in this lecture, we will see the effect of gyroscopic couple on ships during pitching. Pitching is nothing but the up and down motion of the ship about the axis perpendicular to the vertical plane. So when ship pitches up and down, it will change the direction of spin axis, which is the axis of rotation of rotor and hence gyroscopic torque is induced. Now let us take an example where the rotor rotates in clockwise sense as seen from the rear side of the ship and the bow is rising upwards during pitching. Okay. Now the very first step is to draw the vector representing spin velocity. So first of all we will draw the spin vector. For that let us mark the direction of spin velocity. It is clockwise as seen from the back side. So this is the direction of rotation of the rotor as seen from the rear end of the ship or stern end of the ship. Okay, It is rotating in clockwise direction. Now when you look at this motion from front side, it will appear to rotate in counterclockwise sense. Okay. So the same will be uh, can be shown in the top view because longitudinal axis is visible in front view as well as top view. So now to represent this spin velocity using a vector, we make use of right hand screw rule. We hold the axis of spin, this is axis of spin about which the rotor is spinning or rotating. So we will hold this axis in a right hand and curl the fingers in the direction of rotation of rotor. Now when I curl the fingers in this sense by holding this axis in my hand, my thumb will point towards right. This is the direction of vector representing spin velocity omega. So we call that vector as spin vector or angular momentum vector. So this is my angular momentum vector using right hand screw rule. I will place the angular momentum vector in vector diagram. Okay. Now next, we have to draw the vector diagram in the plane in which precision occurs. Okay. So before that, we will attach the vector to the ship. Okay. And mark the tail of the vector as point O. Now what I said, we have to show the vector diagram or draw the vector diagram in the plane in which precision takes place. Now in this case, ship is pitching and during pitching bow is rising in upward direction. This motion of the ship is called as precision motion. Now this precision motion that is motion of the bow in upward direction can be represented in vertical plane as seen in the front view. Got it? We can represent this precision motion of ship that is movement of the bow using an arrow in the direction of motion only in the vertical plane in front view. So we have to draw this vector diagram in the same plane, okay, vertical plane in the front view. So I have shifted my vector in the front view because this vertical plane in the front view is my precision plane in which the ship is executing pitching motion. Okay, now precision occurs in upward direction ship bow is rising upwards. Now remember that we will simulate the action and while simulating the movement of the bow in upward direction, you will remember that the vector, which vector? The spin vector is attached to the ship. 
so it will also rotate with the shape so pitch pitching is upwards bow is rising so bow will rise like this the shape will rotate about the transverse axis so we'll simulate the same action in the vector diagram we'll rotate the vector about point o when this bow turns upward okay so this is the new position of my vector when the bow rises and remember we are doing this in the plane in which precision takes place and the velocity with which the ship will rise upward uh, the bow will rise upward is called as the precision velocity omega p which can be represented in this vertical plane in front view now to obtain the direction of active gyroscopic couple what we do we rotate the spin vector this is my spin vector by 90 degrees in the direction of precision velocity omega p now, omega p is counter clockwise so we will rotate the spin vector in counter clockwise direction about the tail of the vector by 90 degrees okay remember that i am telling again and again you have to rotate the vector about its tail so let us rotate the spin vector in counter clockwise direction that is in the direction of omega p by 90 degrees to get the direction of to get the direction of active gyroscopic couple vector so this is my active gyroscopic couple vector which is obtained by rotating the spin vector by 90 degrees in the direction of omega p now i will place this vector at the other end okay this is the vector representing cg active gyroscopic couple now the vector representing reactive gyroscopic couple will be opposite to the vector representing active gyroscopic couple so i have drawn the vector in opposite direction this vector represents the direction of cr reactive gyroscopic couple now in order to find out the sense of reactive gyroscopic couple what we will do we will hold the vector representing cr in our right hand in such a way that thumb of right hand will point in the direction of arrow so when we do this fingers of my right hand will be curved in clockwise direction correct as seen from the top side so by applying the right hand screw rule if i hold this vector representing cr in my right hand and my thumb is pointing in the direction of this arrow my fingers will be curved in this sense clockwise as seen from the top so this is the sense of reactive gyroscopic couple now what i have told you we are drawing the vector diagram in precision plane and precision that is pitching of ship takes place in vertical plane as seen from the as seen in the front view so this is my plane of precision x o y in which i can represent the precision of the ship that is pitching of the ship using the circular arrow so i can represent omega p in this plane this is the plane of precision and we have drawn this diagram in this plane okay so if this diagram lies in this plane this is the this should be my vector representing cr okay 
vector representing CR. Now, reactive gyroscopic couple vector is acting downwards and its sense is clockwise as seen from the top side. Now we'll identify the plane in which this reactive couple acts. This couple CR will act in the plane perpendicular to its vector. So the plane perpendicular to this vector representing CR is the plane X O Z, correct? Is the plane X O Z. X O Z is the plane perpendicular to vector representing CR. So the couple CR will act in this plane. Okay. And in this X O Z horizontal plane we can view the top view of the shape. Okay. Ships are top view of the horizontal plane with this and that horizontal plane is X O Z. So this couple is acting in horizontal plane. Right? CR is acting in horizontal plane. And now we can see its effect is to steer the ship towards starboard side or towards right hand side of the ship. Okay. So it will rotate the ship towards right side because the sense of couple is like this. So it will rotate the ship as seen in top view towards the right. So this is the effect of a reactive gyroscopic couple. Okay. When the bow is rising, the couple will try to steer the ship towards right. Okay. Now I have solved only one case. You can go for more cases. There, are, there will be eight such cases, different cases. Say rotor rotates in clockwise direction as seen from the front end and the bow is rising upwards and bow is moving downwards. Now in case 3, rotor rotates in clockwise as seen from the stern end. Okay, For these two cases it was fore end. Now for next two cases it will be stern end. Rotor still rotates in clockwise sense. Uh, okay. And for one case, bow upwards, and for another case, bow downwards. Four more cases by changing the direction of rotation of the rotor. Okay. So please solve these eight cases and try to find out the effect of reactive aerosopic couple on the ship during pitching. Thank you.